Hey everybody, welcome to the Apple Watch Tips and Tricks video, Watch OS 4 edition. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the best Apple Watch tips and tricks I use often that I thought would be useful for everybody to know about. So let's get to it. The first Apple Watch tip is pretty simple, and I've been surprised that I still run into some people who don't know about it. You can use your Apple Watch to find your iPhone. Super handy when you're not sure where you left your iPhone around the house. On your main Apple Watch face, just swipe up to access Control Center, and then press the button with the picture of the sound emitting iPhone on it, and your Apple Watch will ping your iPhone and cause it to emit a tone to help you find it. But remember, this only works if your Apple Watch is connected to your iPhone. To see if it is connected, you can look at the top left of Control Center on your Apple Watch. If you see the green iPhone icon, then you're connected. If you see the dreaded red rectangle, then your Apple Watch is not connected, and the ping feature to find your iPhone will not work. The next tip I want to pass on is Apple Pay. It's so handy to use it on your Apple Watch. If both your bank and store you're shopping at supports Apple Pay, I strongly recommend trying it out. It's true that it's convenient from your iPhone, but when you have an Apple Watch, it's even more handy. No more digging through pockets for debit cards or pulling out your iPhone. Just double click the button on your Apple Watch and tap. Plus, it makes a really cool, fun sound. I'll leave a link in the description below for instructions on how to set that up if you haven't already. Another tip I want to briefly discuss is a now playing complication. I've been shocked to learn some people still don't know you can control music playback on your iPhone from your Apple Watch. It allows your Apple Watch to effectively replace your headphones inline remote and is really useful for those who use AirPods or any wireless headphones for that matter. I've done a video with more detail about this recently called AirPods with Watch OS 4. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out to learn more details about how that works. But suffice to say, if you haven't tried using the Now Playing app yet, give it a whirl, as you'll realize just how convenient controlling your iPhone music playback from your Apple Watch really is. The next tip that I've become quite fond of since the watchOS 4 upgrade is a new built-in flashlight app. I find it really useful to find my way around the house at night in the dark when I don't want to wake everyone else up. To activate the Apple Watch flashlight, just swipe up from your main Apple Watch face to access Control Center and press the flashlight button. I find it's really dim at first, but when you tilt it away from you, it gets brighter and is often bright enough to find your way around in the dark, especially if you don't have a real flashlight handy. It also has a couple of other options as well. You can swipe left and the next screen is a blinking flashlight, which comes in handy if you're riding a bike at night that doesn't have a light on. And the last screen, when you swipe left, is a red flashlight that is useful for when you want to try to see in the dark, but don't want to draw too much attention to yourself. And lastly, I'd like to talk about how to resolve a new issue I've been having with controlling iPhone music from the Apple Watch's Now Playing app occasionally. Sometimes, when I'm trying to control the music on my iPhone from my Apple Watch's Now Playing app, the controls suddenly don't light up and no longer function, preventing me from fast forward, play pause, and rewinding, and sometimes the volume. I'm not sure what's causing this. It's like the Apple Watch and the iPhone lose sync somehow, but I've found that if I go into airplane mode, wait about five seconds, and then turn off airplane mode, that when the next song comes on without fast forwarding to the next track, that the controls return. I'm not sure if anyone else has run into this issue, but I thought I'd share a workaround for it just in case. Well everybody, those were some of the best Apple Watch tips and tricks I use most often. Are there any tips and tricks you think I should have mentioned? If so, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or found it helpful. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.